Hey guys, welcome back to Poplar Ridge. Today we're going to be replacing the intermediate steering shaft on this 2011 Chevy 3500. Uh, it's a pretty common problem with Chevy trucks, Tahoes, Suburbans, SUVs. Uh, you can search the internet and, and YouTube and find that a lot of pe people have problems with this clunking noise. And I'll go ahead and insert a clip of that clunking noise here. Alright, let's see if we can hear the bumps from the steering column. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through the steps of what you need to do. The very first thing is you need to secure your steering wheel so that you don't mess up the clock spring inside of the steering column. Okay, so Underneath the hood you have, through the firewall, there's a boot with three nuts that hold the rubber boot. It goes through the firewall and then the shaft comes down and there's one bolt and nut here to remove. Nuts holding the boot through the firewall are number 10 bolts under the hood is a number 15. You're going to want to either a deep socket or a ratcheting wrench. There's the capture nut and bracket that keeps you from having to use two wrenches. Inside the truck, just above your brake pedal, there's a the shaft comes through the firewall right here and connects with one bolt and nut through the shaft. Alright guys, after uh, an hour of messing with this and taking a break and changing shirts after soaking the other shirt, uh, we did finally get it out. My, my shaft was frozen up in this area so I had to spray some PB blaster through the, from the inside toward the engine bay to get down inside of this and then basically use a hammer to tap this off or down inside this longer shaft so that we could get it out. Um, you can see how freely this one moves. Oh, well, now it's not going to do it, but um, which is causing the knocking noise, and this one does not do that. So that the U joints on these wear out over time, 
I think is what happens. And this new one is also beefier. You can see the, hopefully you can see this shaft is beefier than the original and is D-shaped instead of perfectly round. So hopefully this is going to help uh, with that knocking noise. So it just goes back in the way it came out. Uh, put your rubber boot on before you put this through the firewall. So let's give that a shot. I can see what it looks like in there. There we go. Said and none. There we go. We're just putting this capture nut and bolt back on there and we'll tighten them down. Okay guys, we're back on the same road here and uh, the knocking is pretty much all gone so I'm going to put you down under the dash and let you listen. <laughs> <laughs> 